Okay, one last thing I want to talk about here is genre. Genre, if you don't know already, is the kind of music. We have alternative music, blues music, Christian music, classical music, comedy, country, etc., etc. And you see some of the user interface for genre here. And notice how this user interface works. I have um, uh, a big list over here, a major list, alternative blues, etc. When I click on um, alternative, I see subgenres. So inside alternative, indented under alternative, in an outline form, or what we'll come to see as a hierarchy form, we have today's alternative, 90s alternative, 80s alternative, etc., etc. So these are subcategories, these subgenres. And if I click on one of these, like today's alternative, I see that I get the page for the genre. This is a page that shows all the subgenres. This is a page that shows information about the genre. So this is the page that I'm going to look at when I, when I actually model the genre, when I say, well, what do they keep about a genre? And I see from this page, and it's, hopefully this is starting to get familiar to you, kind of what information Pandora uses. I'm again going to assume it's an ID. Then the band has a, um, a name and a picture and a description. And I forgot to put a little circle here for description, so I'll fix that at some point. And once again, I can start to make some assumptions about the name. The name of the genre is going to be one or a few words. The ID is going to be a sequ sequential number. The description is going to be multiple sentences. And the picture, once again, here's the genre picture up here, is going to be, uh, um, is going to be a JPEG, a certain kind of image. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've looked at different pieces of the Pandora UI, the Pandora user interface. And from there, we made certain assumptions about the information that, that, um, that uh, Pandora must be saving. Now, I am very confident that Pandora is saving all this information about genre. Otherwise, it couldn't be here on these pages. Do I, am I sure that it's only in all the information they're storing about genre? No, because I haven't done an exhaustive analysis. And in the end, I'd really have to go talk to the Pandora people to really get the, the, final, the final line. Okay, we're modeling information here. We're modeling information from a user interface. We're looking at different bits and pieces of the user interface and from them making assumptions about what kind of information Pandora must save. And so what I want to encourage you to do is begin looking at sites this way. Begin looking at sites and decomposing their user interface. Also begin looking at sites and decomposing their information model so that you have intelligent things to say about this site that other people don't even know, don't even notice. And you can start to make a lot of assumptions and a lot of um, analysis, a lot of sort of knowledge that you can generate inside yourself by knowing this information model.